Before the Kansas City Monarchs, there was a team called the Kansas City All-Nations, a great barnstorming team, eventually taken under the guidance of future Monarchs owner James Leslie Wilkinson, who himself was an aspiring baseball player on that All-Nations team. But what made the All-Nations unique is that the All-Nations team was, I guess I would best describe as a homogenous group of athletes made up of black, white, Hawaiian, Native American, Asian, Hispanic ball players, all playing together. Yeah, it was a novelty for sure, but don't get it twisted. The All Nations could flat out play, and the All Nations would become the forerunner of the great Kansas City Monarchs, who were entered into the Negro National League as one of its inaugural teams. Had it not been for World War I, which certainly decimated the All Nations team, who knows how many games that club would have won. Oh, it was filled with stars. And many of those stars after World War I, particularly African-American stars, will become part of the legendary Kansas City Monarchs. <laughs>